Shalom Aleichem, my sweet brothers and sisters, how are you doing? So, it's me, I'm here, I'm alive, and we're going live on Facebook. I took you tonight to a very special place. It's an amazing uh, place for me. When I'm thinking about uh, my inner connection to the Creator, also, a lot of times we need to understand that our past is. A very important part of uh, our future. We really need to connect ourselves to who that we really are before we're gonna try to change ourselves and to become something better or improved or whatever. Sometimes the fact that you want to change yourself is uh, it's kind of a mistake. Because the truth is that every flaw that you built, you built it on top of the last one. So, when I was 15 years ago, so uh, 15 years old, um, my parents divorced. And my grandmother and my grandfather lived in this building in the first floor. And for a certain while, certain time in my life, so I was, uh, I lived here with my grandparents. And I went through a lot. So I told you that I was. Uh, I was a professional swimmer when I was a kid and uh, when I was 15 and my parents divorced so you know I needed a change so I started uh, I learned how to smoke so every night after I would finish my uh, practice my swimming so on my way back from there I would walk and smoke. <laughs> I start smoking and here I would stop and finish my cigarette and going to my grandparents house over there. Thinking to myself that in that time that I lived here I also start drinking. I couldn't handle the divorce of my parents. It was, it was so bad for me. It was so bad. It was so bad. And I didn't know how to drink. So what we would do, we would buy a bottle of vodka and a bottle of orange juice, and we would go to sit here in the park. Hi. <laughs> Me and some friends, we would go, we would sit here in the middle of the night, drinking vodka and orange juice. <laughs> Not understanding at all what's going on in our mind. Don't understand at all what's going on in life. Just drowning the sorrow. Just drowning the sorrow. I have issues with my phone. What can I do, guys? You know that my phone... It's a pain in the phone. What do you want me to do? You want me to go like that? It's not the right way. Trust me, I'm trying so hard with this phone. Now I know it's working. Turn the phone, yes, 
here that's how you want it to be I'm not happy with it like that tell me please like this is it okay no no tell me like this is it okay also if I'll continue like that it's okay why it's not working for me no it's not okay only like that I'm not happy Hi, Borolam Yazoli. Borolam. What can I do? Well, Shem is with me, so I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. I'll tell you now something. Please listen, but focus, yes? The reason we're talking is because we want to save your lives. My life already been saved, so... I know that... there is certain wisdom... that you receive... in life. And you receive it only because that... Hashem Baruch wants you to pass that wisdom to others. So... I'll try to pass it to you that you're gonna understand. That's a bit Knesset. Never used it. Never been here. I lived here for a couple of years of my life and I never visited a bit Knesset. Well, we had to drink vodka over there in the park. What do you want? But there was a nice bit Knesset, probably. Never saw it. Well, so I'll tell you. I'll tell you something sweet. The Gemara, the holy book of our ancient wise people from 2000 years ago, is telling us a very deep concept about the life of a person. The Gemara is asking, if a person born in a horrible place in his life very contaminated, very impure, very far from holiness how can you stop that kid, that person from sinning? there is nothing you can do that will save the life of that person that will protect him from sinning nothing in the world can protect him from sinning, why? because he was born in that place and we need to understand that that we born in a certain place so what the kid can do that he will not gonna sin there is nothing that we can do to change our past and we need to understand that the creator himself he's the one that brought us down to this world and to that place that we will sin, that we will have our past. Milo's family, you're losing it with the hearts. So, we need to understand that the Creator is happy with the fact that we came from such a filthy place. And he's got a purpose and he's got a reason in that. And we just need to understand that the world is built like that in a way that if you're going to put your focus on the physical side of the world, you will always going to find lackings in the world. No matter how great and pure you're going to be, you're going to stay limited. Even the most righteous person in the world is limited by being physical. But if you're going to put your focus into the soul, if you're going to put your focus into your inner connection to the Creator, so in that place you're not limited anymore. And if you're putting your focus on that, on your inner connection with the Creator, so no matter where you are, 
no matter in which spiritual level you're at, even if you sinned, even if you made horrible things in life, even if you were drinking vodka with orange juice and smoking when you were 15 or 13 years old, even if you were not eating kosher, even if you were eating treif, even if you're so far from holiness, from purity, from Gdusha, even if you have scars to remind you that, even if you made tattoos, if you're doing and using drugs, even if you cheated, even if you lied, even if you betrayed, even if you hurt so many people in your life, even if today you're so weak and tired and angry and frustrated and don't have patience and have horrible attributes and no manners and you're far from being polite and educated, if you're going to focus on your inner connection to the Creator, you're going to understand that the fact that He is giving you life today is the evident to that He loves you. Because He gives life and life is who that He is. Because the name of the Creator is Chaya Chaim. Chaya Chaim means the one that lives eternal life. He is the source of life. So if you see that Akadosh Baruch Hu took your head off, so then you're done. But if you didn't took your head off, and you're still alive, it means that Hashem loves you. You understand? Because He is giving to you from the source of His life. He's giving Himself to you. While you're alive, it means that you have Him inside of you. You're alive, it means that God is inside of you. And if God is choosing you to be a vessel, to contain Him, to carry Him, to reveal Him, to expose Him to the world, to bring the light of His grace, of His holiness, of His purity to the world, and He chose you, He found you qualified for that. He found you the right vessel to contain His light and to go and to provide it, to give it to the world, to let people know you, to know Him through you. If He chose you, to use you to reveal His kindness to the world, the light of your own soul, can you be more lucky than that? Can you be more rich than that? Can you receive something that's going to be higher than that? than to be the messenger of the Creator, to reveal the kindness of the Creator to the world. Those are things that when a person is focus, focusing on them, really looking at those points, you understand my past can never hold me back from who that Hashem wants me to be. And actually, by those downs, by those failures, by those pains and sorrows and difficulties that I went through, through those pains I grew up, I developed to be who that I am. That today I'm a little bit more humble. That today I can respect people a little bit more. I can appreciate good things in life. I can understand how things are going in the world, that when you do good, so you're going to receive good. And if you do bad, you receive bad. I learned a few lessons. I learned what it means to have friends. I learned what it means to have bad friends. I learned what it means to have family. I learned what it means not to have family. What it means to feel that you have 
what it means to feel that you don't have a lot of lessons you learn in life and without the difficulties and without the sorrow and without the pain I wouldn't experience all of those lessons so I wouldn't develop to become to be who that I am today and that one that I am today is that one that the Creator wants me to be and when the Creator he decided to create me as who that I am he actually chose me to reveal himself through me so now my only obligation and my only way of really serving Hashem is to be who that I am is to be who that I am and to reveal the light of my own private individual unique soul to the world because if I'm gonna deny myself and not gonna expose myself and not gonna be who that I am I'm gonna block the light that the Creator wants to shine through me but if I will let my mouth open and I will talk and I will share and I will let myself be Ben Chorin a free person so then I will be able to express the light of the Creator and I'm going to complete my mission and I'm going to illuminate the world with the light of kindness that's the building it's not something so important just to me as a person oh kitties always I meet kitties hello kitty so here in this building on the left side it was my grandfather Allah wa shalom and my grandmother that gonna ling live long life it was their apartment and on the right side my aunt and my uncle they lived here that was their backyard don't tell no one Ooh. once it was nicer Oh, it was much nicer. Really, it was nicer. What's going on here today? It was much nicer. Yeah. That is what that happens with memories. You imagine to yourself that you have something in your past waiting for you. <laughs> Oh Hashem, we took all of the sparks and now we're on our way out. Thank God for His kindness, for His patience, for His love to His holy nation. May Hashem bless you with inner faith, inner confidence in yourself that you will see your own beauty that you understand how important you are how great you are, how beautiful you are how each and every one of you contains the light of the Creator how each and every one of you is able to provide to bring something to this world that is so unique that is so special that no one else in the world is able to bring please believe in yourself believe that you're gifted that you're wonderful that you're special and unique and that there is no one that is nicer and more special than you remember to look at the moon tomorrow we're gonna have a nice moon Everyone are talking about the moon. Good night.